Now let's see what other features are available to us in SDL Trader Studio. Uh, in this video we will learn what an autosuggest dictionary is. This is another type of dictionaries that you can create in uh, Trader Studio uh, to assist in translations. The purpose of these dictionaries is to actually assist the user in actually typing the text, typing individual words. Uh, as you type, you will be given suggestions for you to pick one or even uh, word combinations. And this will actually speed up the process of typing and it will let you uh, also uh, speed up the process of translation itself. Now, to create one, we need to either go to the Translation Memories view and to click this button or we can go to Home View and here we have this button again. So I click it. Uh, then I need to browse for a file to create the dictionary from. Uh, you can create an auto-suggest dictionary either from a translation memory or and from a file in the TMX uh, format. And this format is, uh, uh, well, this format is used for files when you uh, export information from your translation memories. We will learn this in the next video. So uh, to create one, I'll go to my training course folder, sample files, and I have prepared two memories in the folder for autosuggest. Now let's uh, pick this memory just for instance. Okay, I go next. And I'm given uh, an information window from Chattis saying that this transition memory is too small to generate an autosuggest dictionary. A transition memory must have at least 10,000 transition units to produce a meaningful autosuggest dictionary. This means that as if you're a, a beginner to a Trader Studio and you don't yet have any big memory, you will unfortunately not be able to create a dictionary at this point, but at a, at a later one, as you have the required number of translation units. So I'll have to return and to pick this other, a bigger translation memory. Okay, I shouldn't be having any, any problem with this one, so I go next. Yeah, we see that the source and target languages are correct, so I go next. In this, window, in, this, um, in this dialogue, you are actually warned that you might have uh, out-of-memory problems if uh, you uh, create a big auto-suggest dictionary. Sometimes uh, when you sh see this dialogue, uh, this slider might be in this position, uh, suggesting, suggesting that you could create a smaller auto-suggest dictionary uh, just to be able, just to make sure you have no out-of-memory out of problems. But I should tell you that I've been working on different machines and uh, with different, actually, with different uh, Trader Studio versions. So I always used to uh, move this slider to the very right position so that I could have as much, as many uh, matches or um, entries in my auto-suggest dictionary as possible. And I didn't actually have any out-of-memory out of problem before. So this is what I suggest. I suggest you move your slider to the very right position. Then you go next. And here's the actually the path for us to save the autosuggest dictionary to. This means it'll be documents, studio 15, uh, and here's the folder, right? So I go finish, and I wait for the process to complete. Um, the process is completed, so we can close this dialog, and we can return to our file. Um, now we can add this autosuggest dictionary to our project. Let's see what it looks like. I go Documents, Studio. Here it is. Here's the file. So I go Project Settings, uh, English to Russian, autosuggest, and I go Add, and I add it like this, and I go OK. Uh, so now we have added the dictionary, and, and we need to see how it works. Let's, um, for example, pick a sentence and see how it will work, um, like this one. So what I do is I actually type the translation. Now I only typed a single letter, but you can see that I have been given a suggestion from the dictionary, which I will not use in this very case, and I'll continue typing. Here it goes, another suggestion. Uh -huh. And I have another two suggestions. The first one being from the term based, and another one being from from the uh, auto suggest dictionary, and it matches me perfectly. So I select it. I'll simply 
press enter. Yeah, I'm satisfied with this, so I go dot and I save my segment. And let's, for example, see another sentence, a bigger one like, like this one. Yeah, we can press I'll delete to clean it and I go typing. Another suggestion. I've got the right word, I pick it. Another word, I pick it. Another match. Another match. Mm -hmm. I take this one and I take this one. Here it goes. Um, this is the way it actually works. As you see, I've saved some time uh, selecting, picking those uh, matches that I've been given by another suggested dictionary. So I completed translating, translating this sentence and I simply uh, confirm it and I save my document. Uh, <clears throat> so if you have uh, some auto-suggest dictionaries created, you can use them uh, prepare, uh, when you prepare some other uh, projects, translation projects, when you create them. So let's just create one, for example. I go Control n Okay. Uh, let it be Project 2. Let's pick the same file. Just for instance, I've got the right memory here, and here I add the auto suggest dictionary that I just created. I go add, I edit, next. I can also add a glossary, as you know, we created one before. So I go OK. Now I have both an auto suggest dictionary and a glossary added to my translation project. So it'll only like. Uh, it will only take me to go next and finish to actually create a project and to be able to start translating it and using both glossaries at a time. Uh, I guess this is it about that kind of uh, dictionaries we can create in Trader Studio. Let's see what we got next.